That way we can talk about all of these issues. So welcome everyone. This is How to Build a Better Business. And we talk all about all of the struggles that we go through when we're trying to, to put something together. Um, I don't know about you, but I just spent the last six weeks um, really going crazy on some real estate uh, that we have. We do uh, buy and hold, long-term buy and hold rentals. And we had some move outs. And so we had to roll our sleeves up and kind of come out of retirement and do some painting and cleaning. And, you know, you get it. So, uh, so it's been a lot of work and a lot of hours. And I came off of that Thursday night by giving away the key to unit number six. It is now re-rented and they're all done. And then I immediately left Friday for a writer's workshop. So I was in a workshop um, all day, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, came back to a full house at my guest house uh, that I run from my home. So I had a full house of guests. And once I get them all checked in yesterday, Sunday evening, I sat down. And uh, and for those of you that are in our magazine, I, I got together with Katie on a Zoom call. We went through everybody's articles and we got everything uploaded. And by 3 a.m. this morning, we were launching that magazine that was supposed to have been launched before um, I went to the writer's workshop. So you you get it. Things are like that. It, sometimes, you know, it, it's okay when you're creating something for it to be a little messy because we would rather it be messy here among friends than when you put it out there to the masses and then somebody is like, well, that link didn't work or, you know, and I don't know how many of us have, have you tapped into something before where you said, oh, I really like this sales page. I'm really interested in this information. And then you couldn't get their darn link to work. And then when you look in the comments, you see where the link doesn't work. The link doesn't work. And a lot of people were complaining the link didn't work. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I wouldn't want that to be me, but it happens. And so, because it's, it's so hard. And for those of you that are working on computers, you'll get this. When you have an account and you create something, um, your computer remembers you. So it lets you in. But then when you put that link out to the masses at large and they try to get in, it doesn't let them in because it's the wrong link. And you can't tell it's the wrong link because it always lets you in. You're thinking the link works. Why, what, why are they talking about the link doesn't work? Well, that's because it's, it's your link. So anyway, those are the things that you have to always keep in mind when, when you're trying to create something. It's okay for it to be a little bit messy. And so I just want to, and we've got Christine again, we'll let her come on. There she is. There's Christy. You see her beautiful face. Um, Christy, do you want your video to show? Or are you good with just chatting with us today? I see she's unmuted. Can you hear us okay, Christy? Oh, I can she... hear. Yes, I can okay. hear you. Fantastic. I would like to not be on camera today, if that's all right. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. There are days that I am just not camera ready. I certainly mm -hmm. understand. Today is, yes. <laughs> Today is one of those days. <laughs> I understand completely. So we've got Christy with us. So thank you for being with us. So anyway, on Build a Better Business, we start from the top and, and every month we go through a different topic and it's all about creating your value proposition statement. What is it you're, you're promising to your audience? And then we talk about your storytelling being the cornerstone of your business. Uh, again, I just, I, I taught this over the weekend at the writer's workshop. Um, sometimes we just want to advertise something and it, it kind of just lands cold because folks are kind of like, well, that's nice, but they, they don't buy. You're like, why am I not getting any buyers? Because your storytelling is your marketing. When we hear a story, we lean in when we hear a story. And my favorite example, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because it's not our topic for today, but my favorite story is um, if somebody walks in and says, buy this weight loss product, you're thinking, how do I know it works? You know, am, am I the guinea pig? I mean, what, what's the story behind it? I mean, does it work? Are there, are there people that say it works? But if somebody walks in the room and they've lost a hundred pounds and they go, and somebody goes, oh my goodness, you look amazing. You've lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I've been using this product. Well, we're all leaning in then. We're like, what are you using? <laughs> Tell me about this. Because it's the story that makes the sale. It's not the product. It's the story that makes the sale. It's not the product. So anytime you want to market anything, include it in a story. And that's where the sale is going to happen. So the next after that, once your story, once you get your storytelling down, and, and again, the storytelling is so important because you're going to weave that storytelling throughout all of your products and services. And then 
once you tell that darn story so many times, it's very, it's very much in your brain. You've told the story, you, you know, the, the high points, the aha moments in the story. And so now when you're marketing yourself and, and one of the, we're going to shoot clear to the other end, when somebody says, Oh, I need a speaker for a chamber of commerce luncheon. You can say, I'll do it. You know why? Because you don't have to create anything. You already have practiced that darn story so many times. All you got to do is stand up and tell your story. And it's a, an amazing presentation. And, and the way I like to teach the storytelling part is it's like an accordion. You've got this long story on how you've, you've arrived at where you are. So now you can learn how to read your audience a little bit. So for example, if I'm in a group of real estate investors, I'm going to talk about my real estate portion of the story in more depth. I'm going to tell the story, but I'm going to stop over that real estate portion. And I'm going to get down in the weeds a little more because I'm talking to investors. But for those of you that know my story, know that I've spent 25 years in the salon industry. If I'm talking to a group of stylists, I'm going to hover over the part of the salon industry story because that's what's going to interest them the most. See, so this story can be like an accordion. If I have 20 minutes to tell my story, I can tell the whole overarching story in 20 minutes. If I have an hour to tell the story, I can highlight and hover over the parts of the story that will make my audience connect with me. Does that make sense to everybody? So the story is the story and you can tailor make it to whatever audience you're in front of. This weekend, I was in front of a group of authors. So can any of you guess what part of the story I hovered over? My struggle on writing my first book and getting published. I spent more time on that part of the story because that's what was going to interest that audience. So now once you have your story down, now you're going to figure out, well, where do I tell my story? How do, how do I, because remember your storytelling is your marketing. So now how, where am I going to tell this story to get people to buy the products and services that I've put together? Well, that is where you come alongside and you actually serve. You find other folks that are kind of in your lane or lap your lane. They, they're doing something similar, but maybe not exactly, but the audience is the same. So you're looking for other groups where the audience is the same audience that you're looking for. So for me, with this group, with Build a Better Business, I'm looking for entrepreneur and solopreneurs. So any other group that caters to entrepreneur and solopreneur folks is a group that I want to serve, especially if I'm not doing the exact same thing. Because now I'm not stepping on their toes, but it's the same audience. And here is how that worked for me. I got onto Clubhouse. I don't know how many of you have a Clubhouse account. Um, it was all the Ray when it first came out. It, it's, it's a lot of work if you're on Clubhouse a lot. Um, but anyway, at the time, um, I ran across this gal on Clubhouse. And, and you see how things work together because I hadn't written anything at that point. I mean, I had written courses for my academy, but I hadn't, I hadn't published any, any books. And so this gal, um, she was all about speakers. Well, I, I don't want to be a speaker as, as a career. That's not where I was headed with it. But her audience was all entrepreneurs and solopreneurs also trying to get on stages, bigger stages to, you know, promote their products. So it was the same audience that I was looking for. So I made the decision to serve her. So I showed up faithfully every morning on Clubhouse. Once she trusted that I was going to be there every morning, anytime she had to be out, she would ask me to be her co-mod and take over the group. After about four months, she was like, Kathy, you're always here. I can't be here Friday. Can you run the group Friday? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you see, I had to build that relationship with her. She didn't ask me that the fourth day I joined. She asked me that after four months and I was faithful at serving her group for four months. And so then I helped her moderate. Then she said, oh, I'm going to have a summit. Would you like to be in the summit? Well, what I know from, from being a creator of content, I knew that she had to have some speakers or she couldn't have a summit. You know, she had to have those speakers. So even though 
she was presenting it that she was doing me a favor by offering me a place in her summit. I was also doing her a favor by accepting because I knew that she, if nobody said yes, she couldn't have the summit. So I immediately said, absolutely. And you know what? I wasn't nervous. You know why? Because I already had my story. So I wasn't nervous about talking for 20 minutes. She said, you're going to have a 20 minute spot. I'm like, okay. So I wasn't nervous about that because I already had my story perfected. <clears throat> so now I'm in her summit. So now she says, I want to do an in-person conference. Can you come to Miami? Well, for those of you that know me, you know, I have a, a condo in Sarasota. So I thought I can come to Miami. I mean, it's a four hour drive across the state, but I can come to Miami. So I scheduled a trip to our condo during the same time that she was having her in-person conference. And I just told Mark, I said, as soon as we land, we're going to load up and we're going to drive to Miami. We're going to stay. And she had a girlfriend. You see how all this fits together? She had a girlfriend that was also going to be at the conference as a speaker that owned some Airbnbs. Well, I own short-term rentals as well. So she was, that other girl was going to be talking about Airbnbs. So I knew that was not going to be one of my topics. You see where I'm going with this? I did not want to step on another speaker at the same conference. I didn't want to step on her toes. Once I knew she was going to be talking about Airbnbs, I knew that I needed in my story to talk, to not get onto the real estate piece for very long because she already had someone that that was their topic. So I had to pick a different topic, which was fine because remember, I can take any piece out of my story. See, it doesn't matter um, what topic. I, I was going to just take whatever was left over. You know why? Because I was there to serve. See, so I, I didn't I didn't worry about my topic. I was just going to take whatever was left over to be a, a good servant for her. So now we drive over there. Oh, I've got Elise coming in. Let me let her in here. So um, I'm driving over there. Uh, we get there. Everything is working out fine. I actually stayed at the girlfriend's Airbnb because the tide rises all the ships. So if I was going to spend money on an Airbnb, I was going to spend money on the Airbnb of the girl that I was going to be on stage with, see, to, again, to build that relationship. So I got to meet her when we checked in at the Airbnb. So it just worked out where I built some very strong relationships there. So now fast forward, we're, we're, we're cruising along. I'm still in that servant mindset every time I can. She's introducing me to her people right and left. Um, so the audience, now my audience is growing because now I'm folks out of her audience are joining some of my programs. The more they get to, to learn and, and know and trust me, they're now joining my programs. And so it's just working beautifully. And some of my folks in this room have joined her programs and several of my tribe um, are now doing some stuff with her because we have mixed our audience. And so again, the rising tide uh, raises all the ships. So then she says, oh, Kathy, I've met a, a, a publisher and she wants to do a collaborative book project. Would you be interested? Yes. <laughs> I say yes first and figure it out second. I didn't know how that was going to work out. I didn't even know the cost when I said yes. Um, I didn't know if I was going to have to get to Miami more often. I didn't have any idea the logistics, but I knew that I needed to say yes, because it was pushing my cart in the right direction. Does that make sense? So you get opportunities that, that, you know, is, is taking you in the direction that you want to go. We've got Shanti on here. Shanti, I'm going to give you the opportunity to come up. You're welcome to, if not, I still want you to be able to chat with us. Five, six, seven, eight of us, six, seven. Eight. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that everybody's on and can hear. Um, so I was just doing a double check here. So there's eight of us in the room total. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I got into the book. I, I loved it. Uh, they did another whole uh, series of uh, uh, conferences and all of the collaborators in the book had the opportunity to be a speaker on a bigger stage. And of course, then, uh, you know, she brought in a photographer and it was a great photo op. And so now there's great pictures of me speaking on stage. You see how it all just kind of works together. We're talking about building a better business when you when you grow it organically like that from the ground up and you you always have the servant mindset and the servant heart that you're going to show up and give. 
And it doesn't matter what you get because whatever you give, you're going to get back tenfold. And that's just one of those, uh, you know, laws that uh, whether you agree with it or not, it's like gravity. You go out and drop the, the golf ball, it's going to drop to the ground, whether you believe in gravity or not. That's just one of the natural laws. It's the way it is. And so for those of you that haven't practiced the whole gratitude or the giving, um, it's just a natural law that whatever you give, you're going to get back tenfold. It's just happens. Trust me on that. Uh, and, and if you don't believe me, try it. <laughs> You'll see that it does work. And so as time went on, um, things just progressed through um, very organically. And my business grew and her business grew. And so and we'll have that forever connection because of that. Um, but as it grows and, you know, you, you know what you want to bring to your audience, you've got your story down. Now you've you've chosen, I chose five people to serve. You can't do a really good job doing five because that's a lot, especially if you have a crazy schedule on your own. And so what happens is I chose five, I started serving five, and then some were a better fit than others. Some organically happened faster than others. And you're going to end up with about two that you can serve over a long period of time, because it's all about building the relationships. Okay. That's where, that's where the magic happens is when you start building those relationships because folks start to trust you. And, and I'll, I'll tell you a perfect example. When she said, I met this publisher and she's doing a collaborative book. Do you want in? I said, do you trust her? She said, oh yeah. I said, I'm in. I didn't, hadn't even met the gal. I didn't know anything about the gal. I just said, I'm in because the gal I did know like, and trust trusted this gal. So I said, I'm in, if, if you're putting, if you're a part of it and, and you're participating, then count me in. So I've since done two books and my third book is coming out in April. And so I am now a number one bestseller on Amazon. And I had no idea how I was going to get there, but I just simply said yes. Every time the opportunity was pushing my cart in the right direction. So now I'm starting to build this tribe and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to give my tribe? So now I, I, and I, I kind of was working on this along the way, but now I knew that I needed products and services for my tribe. And so again, I want to go back and say this, when you're putting together your products and services, um, I have four and I like to use the, my, my baseball analogy. So I have my first base offer, my second base offer, my third base offer and my home run offer. And once you put your offers together like that, um, you have to be able then to market those once, once you create your offers so that folks know you even have them. So you did your foundation in your VPS, your story and your serving. Now you've built your different floors of your house, if you will, you know, you've got your offers kind of put together and, and those aren't carved in stone. You're going to, you know, as your audience comes on board, you're going to tweak those, you know, you're going to say, Oh, this needs to have more information. This maybe isn't really relative. I'm going to take that out of that particular course or out of that particular topic. Um, so you're going to keep working on whatever your, your products are. And then you're going to turn around and say, now, how can I put it out to the masses so that folks start to, to learn that I'm here? And that's where you can blog about your stuff. You can podcast about your stuff. You can do public speaking about your stuff. You can. So now you're just going to do all kinds of things that are going to point back to your platform on where you're holding, if you will, all of your offers. So today's topic, we wanted to talk about social media and Sherry couldn't be on. Sherry was going to show us a clever little hack on um, Canva with social media where she can automate some of it. And she ended up having a water leak at her house. <laughs> so, so she's desperately stopping the water as we speak and, uh, and getting a plumber out there or whoever she needs to get that fixed. And so I want to talk just briefly about social media and your key word in social media is consistency. How many of us, we might go strong for a while. Yeah, I'm going to do this thing. And then we just get too busy because social media, it takes time. And I don't know about some of you, but um, it also can, can suck you dry. You can like, you know, you go over to Facebook to post something and you think, well, I'll just scroll for a minute. Yeah. 
20 minutes later, half an hour later, <laughs> you're like, I got to get back to work. I got stuff to do. So you have to be able, and, and again, we're not talking about time management. That's Elise's category. Elise did a great presentation about that. Uh, so we're not talking about time management today, uh, but just know, don't, don't get, don't get, don't go down that rabbit hole and, and not get done what you wanted to get done for the day, but have some consistency, put it on your calendar, put it somehow, uh, uh, however you're keeping track of what you're doing on a daily or weekly basis. And if you're going to blog, blog consistently. If you're going to podcast, podcast consistently. If you're going to go on social media, go on social media consistently. And Canva is my friend. And again, I told Sherry to save that in her back pocket. So the next time Sherry is on, she's going to show us her little Canva hack. So be sure you tap in here uh, the first Monday of every month because Sherry will be sharing that with us once, um, once she's back on again. Um, but you're going to create all of your products. Once you get your foundation, you're going to create your products. Now you're going to start marketing and your social media is a huge part of your marketing. So a couple of things that I like to do is every time I, I well, the big, the big overarching thing I like to do, which I want you to take, if you take anything away from this call today is this, is repurpose, 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 repurpose. So if you, like me, I'm doing this video call, I will take this video call today and I will turn it into my podcast. I will turn it into my YouTube channel. I will take the information that we talked about today and turn it into a blog. I will take the information we talked about today and turn it into a module for in my course on Build a Better Business. And it's all the same material. You see where I'm going with that? So repurpose, repurpose your material. It, it doesn't have to be like, oh my gosh, I got to do a blog and a podcast and a, and a social media post. You can do all of it uh, with the same material and, and just repurpose your material. So please do that. Now, the thing I want to tell you is you can take a link, whatever link you have. And I just did, uh, and Linda, I was just talking to Linda about this this morning. Oh, and Estella too. Um, we have a magazine. I, I'm, I was late getting it out because of the real estate this, this month. But we have a magazine. And once I create the magazine and I have the link to the magazine, if I just put that link in social media, you know what it does? It populates the picture of the magazine right in social media. If I have a YouTube video and I want to post the link of the YouTube video, it populates the the link right to the, the to YouTube, but it populates that whole thumbnail picture right into your post. You don't you're you're like, oh gosh, I'm gonna post the link. Then I gotta go find a picture. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna say. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is post the link and social media populates that. Now when you do it on Facebook, it keeps the same link that you posted. If you do it over in Instagram, it does not hyperlink your link. Folks would have to actually copy and paste the link over into um, their browser to get the link to open, but they still can get there by doing that. So if you're going to put something on Instagram, you can put the link in your bio. It will hyperlink it in the bio, but not in a post. If you put it on uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn creates a new link. But it is it does send it, it does forward it right to your original link. So once you learn those little hacks, um, all you have to do is just post the link. And now you're getting out in front of social media and you didn't have to create another whole new post. OK, now there is a way in Canva that you can hyperlink your link right into a picture. And all you do is have to post the picture and the link can be hyperlinked right inside the picture over in Canva. And that was one of the things Sherry was gonna share with us today. So so we're gonna, we're gonna hold her to that. Tish, I see that you have your hand up. Did you have a question? Tish, you're on mute. Yep, I had to get back to you. I do apologize. I'm multitasking today. Um, so I wanted to just um, offer my uh, assistance if you ever need it for a topic regarding AI and content creation, because similar to Canva, because Canva even has their own AI built into their um, application, there's other application, applications that you can use that will help you generate content, images, things of that nature, or videos to um, streamline your process and make your 
content creation process shorter. <laughs> yeah, because it's very time consuming. It's very time mm -hmm. consuming. And especially if you don't, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know where to start. So groups like this can help share different uh, links that we found, different platforms that we've discovered that work really well and can even give some demos on how to do that. And and Linda has some, some great resources as well. So uh, all of us have some great resources. So be sure and stay tuned because we can cover some of that. Um, so anyway, is there any other questions uh, or comments? Um, and and Tish, do you have any uh, any big aha platform, something that you can share with the group that might be helpful? Yeah, so Mid Journey is one of them. You have to sign up for a um, what's it called a Discord account, but it's a great opportunity for you to create con uh, images. So you basically um, put in a forward slash the word imagine, and then it gives you the option to put in the rest of the prompt, which is to describe what you wanted to create. So let's say you want a girl with red hair, who's five years old, sitting on a porch, um, licking ice cream and with a dog. And then it will create four images of a little girl with red hair, five years old, sitting on a porch with ice cream. And then you can tell it what type of image, if you want it to be a water paint image, or if you want to be like a portrait image, like whatever style of the image you will like, it can create that as well. And that can help you for like your book covers for your eBooks, or if you want to um, publish hard copies, because you know, with Canva, you can't use the templates and sell them. You have to create your own. You can use them for ideas, but you can't use them to um, sell something. Um, so uh, that's a way for you to create something use, using AI, and then they can, and you can sell it as a product, or you can use it in other capacities, whether it's for social media posts or a cover for your uh, podcast, or if you want to make a logo, anything like that, you can use MidJourney. Another option would be NVIDIA, and I believe I spoke yep. to Kathy about that as well. I want to ask you real quick, do you have an affiliate link? I do not have an affiliate link at this time. Do they have affiliates? That's a good question. I never checked because I'm still playing around with it to use as a book cover okay. for my um, 52 week devotional and um, for my daughter's branding for her logo. So I'm just playing around with it right now. Okay. So I do want to encourage everyone, if you have an application that you dearly love, make sure if there is an actual uh, affiliate option that you get that affiliate option because uh, you can make some money. Because just like Tish, if she had an affiliate and four or five of us go, oh yeah, we're signing up through her link, then she she gets paid. And so it's a win-win. We get the, the product, she gets paid, and, and it's a win-win. So definitely have a resource page somewhere on your website. Uh, so Tish, if you would put that in the chat, but put it under everyone so that even the folks that are not uh, up here as panelists can see it. Uh, so, so we can tap in if we want that. Uh, I'm going to ask Linda if she has any suggestions on uh, her favorite app, and then we're going to go over to Estella. Linda. Microphone. There we go. Are you able yes. to hear me? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, great. Um, well, I have many things that I use. Um, I guess I would point first and foremost to an extremely affordable yet powerful uh, platform that enables you to build web pages, uh, landing pages, capture or opt-in pages, um, and um, for just, uh, I'll mention the money just because it's so crazy low. For only $25, you can have unlimited pages and you, it includes a calendar. You would basically pay that for Calendly all by itself. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's very, very uh, beneficial, very user-friendly. And um, it makes it so easy because it's like a drag and drop instead of programming. Like yes. with, other, with other platforms, you have to say what the numbers are for how much margin you want around the item here you just drag and drop and it's like oh that looks good and uh and so you're all set um so that's all i'll say but i can gladly drop my link in yes and i will also say um there is an affiliate marketing opportunity with unheard of commissions um literally 80 percent commission uh on it so if you're looking for 
um, the ability to, e even if you only want to have that extra side hustle and don't need to build any pages for yourself, it's still worth doing. Yes, please put that in the the chat as well. Um, did I freeze or did Linda freeze? Shanti, can you see me okay? You seem frozen. You're moving now. Okay, um, put that in the chat, if you will, Linda, for um, for everyone, if you have your affiliate link there. And uh, sure. Elise, I see that you're on. Do you have a favorite uh, site that you'd like to share? Uh, yes, sorry, I'm driving, so I can't turn my camera on currently. But uh, I would definitely say, Linda, uh, talking about HBA, that is such a powerful site. I've definitely used that one. And even as a virtual assistant, that's one of the simplest platforms and like most beneficial. So I definitely say check that out from her. Um, and then I also really enjoy ClickUp. So it's my task manager. I know we kind of talked about that earlier and just trying to keep track of the, the small things that you're doing. Uh, I like to live a crock pot, like set it and forget it lifestyle. I want to think about it later, you know, not keeping all the sticky notes everywhere like I used to. So using ClickUp has been really uh, beneficial for me uh, since it's cross-platform too. So I can open it up on my computer. I can open it on my phone. Super uh, user-friendly for me as well. Yeah, that's going to keep you on task when you want to remember to post on your social media. It's it's the way to to, to manage your time. Um, Elise, I know you're driving. I, I don't know if you're going to get to a spot where do you have an affiliate for the ClickUp or is it just it just have folks go to ClickUp.com? I do have an affiliate. I can um, absolutely put that in the chat here in just a couple of moments. I'll be parked, um, but you can also find the link on my site the alistassistant.com and there's a resource page uh, resource area for you to grab a couple links for that all right you see that in her little hollywood square it's called alistsolutions.com and so you can get to her resource page so anyway you see what these gals are doing they they have these little sidekicks if you will and they're making money while they're making money okay so there's all kinds of ways to do that when you put together your products. Now, we talked about products, first base, second base, third base, home run. Um, I want to talk to Estella. Estella, uh, can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. All right, perfectly. Now, when we talk about products, there's a whole series of products that you can create. You can create, um, you can create a, a, a summit. You could create uh, a mastermind. You could create a one-day summit, a three-day summit. You could create a one-day master class. You could have a five-day mastermind. There's no limit to the things that you can create uh, as a product. And then once you create the product, you have to decide, is this going to be my first base offer? Meaning, is it going to be free? So folks can kind of get to know, like, and trust me. Like my girlfriend did that clubhouse call every morning for a year. That was just a free thing. That was her first base offer, come and join me on Clubhouse. And she had tons of people that were joining in. And several of us, of course, went down the funnel, the sales funnel with her. She would say, oh, I'm having a, you know, I'm having this master class or this summit. And we're like, yeah, we're in. And so again, she just brought us right on down to her second base offer, her third base. Finally, I'm, I'm flying to Florida and driving to Miami. And I'm paying money to stay over and to go to her conference and, and pay her money for her conference. But I met her through her free offer, which is the first base offer. Then you have the second base, which folks can spend a little bit of money. They might buy a book from you. They might buy a course from you. They might buy a, an afternoon masterclass from you. Uh, but it's kind of a medium kind of sales point. Then you get to third base. Third base is going to be your bread and butter. So sometimes you have to decide what is it that I'm doing that I make the most money on. I'm going to plug that into third base and then I'm going to reverse engineer. What could I then offer for less money for second base? What could I do for free to get them to go to third base? See, remember, you're trying to get them to go around the bases. You want them to leave first base and go to second. You want them to leave second and go to third. But sometimes you have to reverse engineer once you decide what that third base offer is. Mine is my membership site. So I thought, well, if I want folks to join my membership site, what could I give them at second base that they could 
test test drive the membership site. So I have where they can buy individual course. They can buy just one course on one topic and go, you know what? I think I really like that course. I think I am going to join the membership site. And then I get all of the courses and all of the masterminds. I get all of it for one membership fee. And then how do I, I'm reverse engineering. How do I get them to want to take the course? Well, I come on and do a free meetup, just like we're doing right now. This is my first base offer is the free meetup. And folks get to, to hear me. They get to know me. Then they go, maybe I will check out one of those courses. They'll move on to second base. Or maybe I do want to join her membership site and get all of it for one low price. And like Linda, you have to make it so that the price is, is very um, doable and very appealing. And so my membership site is $25 a month and you get the entire academy and all the replays. And I mean, you get everything for that. And then my home run is my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I, I don't get a home run every time I'm on a free call like this. Not everyone is going to, you know, buy my coaching, but every, and, and I don't want them to, because I, I don't, I don't have enough hours in the day. If I had 20, folks that wanted one-on-one -on -one coaching. There would not be enough of me to go around to do that. So I only take um, two to three coaching clients a month, uh, tops, um, and everybody else I direct toward the membership site. And so it's just like that baseball game. Not everybody's going to make a home run, you know? And sometimes, sometimes you, you, you'll get, you'll get a hit on that free first base that they're going to run right past second and go right to third. And sometimes you're going to, you're going to get a hitter that just comes right in and says, you know what? I want the coaching. I I'm not going to waste my time on the free calls and the, all the individual courses or even your membership site. I just want you to, to tell me, you know, how to get there faster. I'm going straight for the coaching. And that's, that is a, a, a home run, right? Right. All at once. <laughs> they just run the bases and they're in the home run. So think about your products and services and where they fit in to that scenario. So that's what I wanna ask Estella. Estella, what you're presenting today, is this, just so the folks here, cause they're all building a better business, is this gonna be your first base, second base, third base, or home run? Where is this product gonna fit in, in the price points? Uh, <clears throat> well, it's probably gonna fit into a first base because I have a nice little um, quote unquote gift to give everyone. Okay. Um, but I, I need to um, give them a little bit of background about what it is that they're going to be have access to when they get this right. gift. Perfect. Okay. So this so this is going to be her first base offer. So she has positioned it to be her first base offer. And 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 what she what she's saying is, is that she's going to do a little presentation today that makes everyone want to lean in and and hopefully they're going to want to go on to second third and home run bases uh by hearing what they're hearing today so that's that's where estella is now estella you're going to just be able to present here if you put this together as one of your products and you're going to do this more than once because today she gets to practice it on us and again everybody is allowed to start a little messy she didn't have her, her video for her, her laptop, but her audio works and her video is over on her phone. And then the Zoom call wouldn't let her join with both. So you see, it gets a little messy and it's okay. It's okay. And, and this is where you want it to be messy. And so at the end of the day, uh, Estella, are you going to put this into a master class that you can then start advertising? Or are you going to take this presentation and use it as a speaking opportunity. And anytime you can get some free speaking gigs, this is the one you're going to use. Where do you see yourself using this presentation after today? I would definitely like to use it as a speaking opportunity. Okay. Um, yeah, but you know, I just want to say this, like you said, it is messy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out and then I'm going to switch to my phone. Okay. Because I can't, I, I have to be able to show you um, the app. But anyway, um, and I am very open to mastermind ideas on how I can make this more effective. Okay. Now, I will tell you, all of us probably have our cell phones right next to us right now. And you could probably just have all of us go to your app on our own individual phones. Um, You can't go to my app because you don't 
I can't give okay. you my password. <laughs> okay. So you want to, okay. So you want to show yeah. something, what we call yeah. the back of the house, not what right. the public can see. Okay. Right. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. So with that, I am going to turn it over to Estella and she is going to give us her presentation and tell us what her topic is and her backstory and all of that. And remember, and you'll get to see this with Estella, it's all about wrapping your product in a story. Okay. okay. So okay. we're going to turn it over to you, Estella. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I want to um, thank you for this opportunity. And um, what I'm about to um, share is something that um, I saw over 20 years ago. And when I saw it, uh, it wasn't as, even as elaborate as it is today, but I thought, I want that. And, um, and then someone shared with me, um, you know, um, that I could help other people. And just a quick uh, story about my background. Uh, I, at one point in time, was a union president, chief negotiator, grievance chairperson. So that says I'm a fighter for people's rights. And um, then I, I went back to school so I'd have more leverage to be able to be more impactful in the work environment and to bring peace and order to the work environment, which is the other thing that is um, my mission. Um, and so when I saw, again, like I said, when I saw this service, I was like, well, this is a no brainer. And then when I learned that I could earn income in addition to empowering people and taking and helping them not be um, so vulnerable to being taken advantage of, I was all in. And so uh, let's see here. I, um, I'm just taking an opportunity to let you know what is possible and available. Um, I'm really pleased the fact that I get to do this in August. I just spoke up. I didn't even realize this when Kathy said, who would like to do it next? And I said, I'll do August. This is um, National Make-A-Will Month. So this is perfect because this is one of the things that we do to support uh, individuals and business owners. and. Um, one of the things that I do with my business is um, <clears throat> I was doing HR consulting because my background is in human resources and my primary uh, desire was to help small businesses have access to um, uh, employment law, uh, uh, access to uh, avoid employment law and employee lawsuits, as well as to bring peace and order in the workplace by putting in handbooks, job descriptions, performance reviews, all of those kind of things to remove the anxiety and the vulnerability, the anxiety of the employees and the vulnerability of the um, of the owner. And after doing that for uh, numerous years, I decided to, you know, take another look at Legal Shield in terms of that's the name of my uh, of our company, uh, in terms of how I could serve my uh, business clients even greater, and not only give them access to be able to handle their um, employee issues, but also contractor issues, customer issues, landlord issues, just to really. A, uh, give them a greater leverage in terms of being able to protect and grow their business. So um, just to, I'm going to show you something here. <clears throat> Hold on a second here. Oh, I need to have share capabilities. Um, <clears throat> let me just make sure I am going to, okay, you should be able to share your screen. And Linda, I'm going to make you a, a co-host just in case I get bumped off. Okay. Estella, you should be able to share. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay, can you see my screen? Yes, we are. Oh, we are just seeing the the Forbes declare us at, as best. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. just to just to we kind of give the, you, we don't see the document. We just see the that you're there on the link. We don't see the actual document. Oh, it's do you not directory. see? Oh, you just see the directory. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me stop a share and uh, go back into share. Here we go. Can you yeah. see that? Yes. Okay. So um, you everybody knows Forbes is highly credible and they're not going to put their reputation out there for 
someone that, you know, doesn't hold up to measure up to what they're saying. And Forbes has said that we are the best uh, prepaid legal uh, plan in America, well, really in Canada as well. And um, just real, real quick, just to give you a little bit of understanding of the power of what we have is um, we've been in business for 50 years. We serve over uh, 35,000 and 100, well, in 70 small businesses. Uh, we have over almost 5 million now uh, um, lives that we cover. And we serve both um the small business community, which is my focus, as well as the employee uh, community, which is also my focus in doing uh, this business. So in terms of how does this work it, for build a better business, when you have our services you are building, definitely have resources to build a better business and not only build it, but to protect it as well. Um, I want to quickly, you don't, and let me just say this, Estella, you don't realize you need an attorney until you need one. And then and I don't know if anybody else has had this, had this situation, but when you look for an attorney, it's hard to find a, a, an attorney because it's hard to know who you should get. You, you pull up some attorney firm and they've got all these names and you're like, which one should I pick? Should I call this? And then when you call, well, somebody will get back to you and you're in the soup at the moment. And you're like, I would really like to just talk to somebody right now. And, and it's almost next to impossible unless you even, already even to get them to call you back. And the other piece to that is the average attorney charges anywhere from 250 to $400 per hour. And for our, just our regular members, um, you know, they can, for, for less than what it would cost them to have uh, two hours of an attorney's time, our members get an attorney. They they don't get just an attorney. They get a law firm for less than two, what they would spend for two hours of an attorney at, at $250 an hour. What we do for our small businesses is just unbelievable for what the services that they get and really and truly what they might pay, I don't know, let's say for maybe seven hours of an attorney, they get a whole year. And so I'm helping them be able to have access to resources that when something comes up or they're not sure, or how do I do this, so on and so forth, it's not an economic decision for them. It's a, let me find out what I need to do. It's like when you hurt yourself, and you have medical insurance, you just go to the doctor and you get it fixed. But if you don't have medical insurance, you're trying to do the, let me see what I can do to make this uh, better, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I get it. I get it. Yes. And so, so you see where her product, this product, it's, it's so needed and it is so affordable with, with Estella's products that her audience is already out there and they just, they may have even seen this, the word before, but they didn't get it. They may have even uh, heard her talk before, but they didn't really understand just how valuable the product is. And mm -hmm. so the only way that Estella is going to grow her business is by getting out there and for folks to get to know, like, and trust her, see her in person, hear her on Zoom calls, hear her on podcasts, hear her in a speaking gig. And as she talks about this, folks will more and more lean in and, and timing is everything. Somebody might say, oh, I really need that product, but not today. Mm -hmm. You wait till they do need it and they're going to be search. They're going to be tracking. Well, them. yeah. And then <laughs> by that time, maybe they wouldn't have needed it had they had right. our service in the beginning. Exactly. You know, like you exactly. got into a bad contract that you didn't have to get into because our attorneys would have reviewed that and told you the contracts were written for the other party. You signed it and something's missing. Something's um, in there that shouldn't be in there, but you could have mm -hmm. avoided that had you, you know, spent you know, a few, just a few dollars a day and sometimes less than a dollar a day to have it. I want to uh, give you a quick little um, exercise here. A second here. Uh, can you see my screen? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's say this is you and this is your money. And hold on. 
a second here. And here are attorneys. And what are some things that you spend your money on monthly? Um, mortgage. Okay. All right. Utilities. Okay. All right. Credit cards. Okay. Hmm. Car payment. Yep. Okay. Insurance. Yep. Mm hmm. Oops. Groceries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm hmm How about taxes? IRS. Ah, ah. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cell phone. Yep. So these are just a few of the things that we spend money on every month. Now, would you say that these people here have attorneys? Your mortgage, your utility companies, your credit card companies, do they have attorneys? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Um, who's paying for their attorneys? We are. Consumers. The customers are. So when they come against you, they're using the money that you spent to pay them to uh, take advantage of you or, you know, in other words, they're, they're fighting you with your own money. Where's your attorney? Buried in the <laughs> yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> and why don't you have one? Why don't people have attorneys? They feel they can't afford it. Absolutely. They're, they're like, I can't put an attorney on a retainer like these big companies. They've got a whole firm on a retainer. But as that, an you're, that you're paying for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as an individual, we think we can't afford to, to put an attorney on a retainer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So anyway, uh, just kind of wanted to uh, share that with you that they you're, you're paying companies to have the resources to take advantage of you, but you don't have resources to, to protect yourself. Whether it's, I've had people who, I had a guy who had mold in his apartment and um, because they were running uh, somebody else's washing machine pipes through his basement and he ended up being in the hospital and just, you know, came out and um, asked them to take care of the mode. They did a little something, but didn't really take care of it. And uh, he was getting sick and he had a daughter. So anyway, long story short, um, finally he called his, his, called his legal shield attorney who, um, cause what he, he asked for was he wanted them to move him out of that apartment to pay for him to move out of that apartment into another apartment. And so that's what his attorney asked for, three months of, um, you know, to pay for him, his moving um, costs, as well as get his deposit back and pay for him to put a deposit down and three months of rent for the following month. I mean, we just have all kinds of situations that come up in life that without having an advocate for you, they say it's cheaper to be taken advantage of to have access to your rights mm -hmm. we remove that barrier um i think right now what i need to do is i need to switch over to my phone so hold on let me i'm going to sign off and sign back in okay all right i'll watch for you okay so what it, what do you uh guys and gals think so far um you see how important her product is 
and whether or not, you know, many of us already have her product, many of us don't, many of us might think, well, uh, maybe later, not today. Uh, but for whatever reason, we still can't argue with the fact that it's a very important product. And she has an audience out there that needs to hear about her product. Agree? Everybody see how important it is? All right. Here she is again. There she is. Okay, you're on mute. Un unmute. Hi, everyone. I'm a real person, not just a picture. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay, so um, what I want to share with you is um, what Legal Shield has done is we have uh, disrupted the legal industry. You know how um, Spotify disrupted music, uh, Netflix disrupted the whole movie industry. You've got Amazon who disrupted um, the uh, buying industry. And what they did was they took something and made it simpler, easier, and more affordable. And that's exactly what we've done with Legal Shield. Um, we all have rights. However, if you cannot accept your uh, uh, get access to your rights, do you really have any? No, you don't. So let me show you how we've done it. We've done it with technology in addition to uh, expanding our uh, opportunity to do that. So I'm going to go to share my screen. Uh, let me see here. Oh, here. It's different on here. I'm going to go to my Legal Shield app. So, uh oh, let me see here. Uh, let me see. Okay, here we go. Um, um, You're in ID Shield right now. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in my Legal Shield app right now. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. So here, what I get to do is, anytime I need to have an attorney, it's right here in my hand. So that's the number one thing they did was make it easy and accessible for us. Um, I can request a consult. That can be on estate planning. If I do estate planning, um, I think it might've showed that I'm like at 78% uh, if I select that. Let's say I wanted have a will, power of attorney, a trust, probate, you know, different things like that. On the will, I can do my will right here in the palm of my hand. Now, the beautiful, the other beautiful part about this, I've already started this, so I'm going to go back a few things. Oh, hold on a second here. Um, you can see I'm just backing up. You can see mm -hmm. some of the questions. The other beautiful thing about this, okay, it's not just that I can do this will on my phone. As I'm doing this will on my phone, um, I can jot down questions and say, well, what do I do about that? How do I handle this? And I've got this issue. And I have access to a seasoned estate planning attorney that I can talk to once or I can talk to 10 times till I get it right. When I do upload my will to them, um, they will have my will prepared for me in five days. And you know what? I didn't have to pay anything more than my membership. I get a will, living will, health care, and financial power of attorney. And that's all, in, I, that's I, all included in your membership. That's all included in your membership. And I can update it every year because things change in life. Yes. So um, let me go back here. All right. Um, so that is my will. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get out of here. Well, I apologize. Go back. Okay. Come out of L. Oh, there we go. So the other thing that I get on, under a request to consult is all kind of consumer right issues that come up, billing disputes, et cetera, et cetera. Landlord, tenant. 
um, where you can just go in and this goes directly to the law firm and they will contact you. Traffic, if you get a traffic situation going on, what you can do is you can, um, you know, whether it's an accident, driver's license, um, ticket or whatnot, if you get a ticket, you can upload that to the law firm, take a picture of it and upload it to the law firm. And they will call you back within eight hours and uh, tell you how they're going to support you, whether you're in Ohio or Oklahoma or California, this, um, this, you know, you have that uh, protection. You know, that um, is, that is going to be a question. I'm, I travel and, and our goal is to try to do one international trip a year. I don't know that we'll financially be able to maintain that, but uh, that's our goal. I think you have to have a goal. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, can I tap in no matter where I am, as long as I have a connection? Well, you can tap into the services. Now the services are going to cover you in all 50 states. Okay? okay. But it won't cover you over in Spain when you're over there. Okay. 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 <laughs> Cause we don't that do was... Spanish law. Uh, great okay. question. Great question. Uh, let's take a look at the business. Um, you know, we have we have a forums thing where our members get access to a number of just common forms that they can, um, you know, uh, modify and then send to their attorney and say, hey, can you review this or what do I need to change? So on and so forth. Civil litigations, uh, consumer rights. Um, you know, we have um, family law issues, whether that is divorce, elder care. If you have a not if you have a uh, uncontested divorce. Um, you, you know, there's no charge for that, for your attorney fees. Now, every, you pay court costs and all of that, but other than that, there's no charge. Uh, we even help people who need to get, you know, um, green cards, visa, and permanent residency. Um, so, you know, real estate, uh, whether they're buying or selling or refinancing a house, timeshare, so on and so forth, just to let you see, um, the breadth of what mm -hmm. we cover. And um, I know some of you on here probably have not seen this before, so you don't know what the cost is. Uh, for those who don't, who have never seen this before, what do you think the cost of something, of having something that expansive might be on a monthly basis? Let's say you, you you're, this is like having a retainer program of a law firm and not only is it in Ohio, uh, when you, you have our service, you're not only covered in Ohio, you're covered in all 50 states. And I'll give you a quick scenario on that. I was down in Virginia at a Sheridan and at a conference and got bit by bed bugs and went down to the office um, front desk at three in the morning. And they said, we don't know if you came in here like that. And so I just called my Ohio law firm who contacted uh, the a, a sister law firm in um, in Virginia, and they were able to get me a, a small settlement. So what do you think something like this would cost you to have an attorney, a law firm nationwide? Well, I already so know, I, so I'm not going to jump in, so I'll let somebody else answer. I'm thinking about 400 to 450 a month. I'm sorry. Hold on a second here. Something happened to my sound. Let me see. I think you had a, you, you just had a phone call try to come in. Yeah, I had a phone out. call come in and that kind of threw me out of my, um, hold on a second here. But we can hear you. How to get my sound back. Can, can you guys hear me all right? Yes. Can you hear us? I can hear you, but it's real low. So I'll just keep ah. it moving. <laughs> okay. Um, what did you say? The, you thought the cost would be someone who hasn't heard of the service before. Yeah, about 400 to 450 a month. That would probably be good. Uh, the only thing I would say is that you know you're not going to use it every day, so that might be a little bit pricey. Yeah. Okay. The cost on this is $29.95 per month. $29.95. That's yeah. unheard of. And the reason why we can do that is because we cover 4.6 million lives across the U.S. and uh, thousands of businesses, small businesses, 
And um, so when you, everybody puts their money into the, into a pot, when you're ready for a high quality attorney, it's already sitting there for you because you've already prepaid for your service. It's just like healthcare, car insurance, any other thing. We're not insurance, we're a membership like Costco, but you can get better pricing when you have a lot of people paying. So just wanted to show you that they also have, you know, other things here, you know, like um, that you can, you can get help with, um, you know, different videos. Um, again, like I said, a lot of different things. The other piece that I want to show you is, um, hold on a second here. I'm trying to figure out how to, um, whoops. How do I stop share on this? I'm not sure. Um, let's see. There. You stopped it? Great. Yeah. Okay. Because I need to bring something up in a minute here. Hold on. So now I'm going to go into my ID Shield um, plan. And uh, Forbes, US News and World Today, and USA Today have all rated us in the top tier of uh, identity theft protection plans. And how many, I, I've just heard in the last 24 hours, three or four people that have said that they've gotten hacked, either their bank account or their their Facebook account or something online has been hacked. Just in the last 24 hours, I've had probably three or four friends that have said, oh, don't, don't go there. I've been hacked. Um, second here. Can you hear me better? Yes. Okay, I can hear you guys better. Okay, now I need to get back to my uh, screen share. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, it's making me sign in again. Didn't mean to do that. It's okay. This is the place to for it to be a little messy while you're figuring out all the nuts and bolts and how to make it flow. Okay, thank you, dear. I for the for the vote of confidence because I need it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, this is a safe place to to be doing this. Mm-hmm. Something I wanted to say while Acela logs in is, you know, that price is so amazing. And it's not just to have an attorney on retainer, it's to have a legal firm on retainer. And they have large key firms spread all over the United States. So many of the people attending this call are in Ohio, but I'm in Pittsburgh and I have a fabulous firm in downtown Pittsburgh just less than 30 miles from my home. So really, really knowledgeable and powerful firms at our beck and call if we need them. Okay, now how do I get back to screen share? Um, let me make sure. Okay, you should be uh, a co-host. So it, uh, it's however you did the screen share on your phone the first time. So you're... Yeah. I'm not seeing it at the bottom of my um at the bottom of my thing here. How come that's not? Mm. Should be in your Zoom tools there somewhere along the bottom. Okay. I'm trying to... when you're on your phone, they show up differently. Oh every... yeah, I see. I have to go back to this. Okay. I have to do share screen. Okay, go back here and I'll do ID Shield. Okay, so this is another phenomena of what we do for uh, just a very, very, very competitive price. Uh, we get credit monitoring. They show you anytime anything comes up, uh, your score changes. They show you all of that. 
uh, if so, I um, lost my Coles charge and uh, had to use my Social Security number there as well as the J.C. Penny, and I was like, Social Security monitoring, what's the problem? Well, come to find out, as soon as I use my Social Security number anywhere in the in the system, you know, mm -hmm. they let me know immediately somebody's using my Social Security number, and if I have a problem, I need to just contact them. Okay. But you were um, able to determine that it was you that was using it. But it's nice to absolutely. know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. I was able to. And I, that also happened to me. I was I bought a car a few years ago and uh, I, I left the um, finance guy's office and I didn't even hardly get out his door and around the corner. I didn't even get back to the salesperson. And I already had all kind of alerts saying somebody was um, buying a car in my name. Just that mm -hmm. bad. So um, anyway, um, let's see here. Security, um, you know, like I have 30 different elements that they're tracking on me. They will monitor anything that digitally identifies you that you want them to. They don't just do it on their own. And one of the things when people get our service, I tell them, please go ahead and put in your credit cards and your information because it's like when you get a credit card, if you don't activate that, you know, then you can't use it. Well, if they don't know what the, to review, then they can't, um, then they can't monitor it for you. So um, they show me, you know, different alerts that I have. Um, and then um, let's see here. Let me go to apologize. Um, internet uh, reputation management. That's like if um, I have something crazy on my Facebook or Instagram or something like that, and you're looking for a job. That's the as mm -hmm. an HR professional, you're trying to see what people have out there. Are they nuts? Are they drinkers? Or you know whatever. So they will scan that for you and let you know if there's something out there that could hurt you, you know. Um, password manager, you know, we all need that. Um, encryption, um, it's, uh, the encryption is like um, what they use for the government. That's, you know, so we use Trend Micro and just for your, um, just for your uh, knowledge, uh, Microsoft and Apple use Trend Micro. So that says a whole lot. Uh, let me see here. Um, let me, we also have a private, um, a virtual private network. So I can be on the, bro on the corner of Broad and High. For, for those who don't live in Columbus, that means like downtown. You can be in a hospital, airport, anywhere. Anything that I do on my computer, nobody can see it but me. They put a shield around it. I don't pay anything extra for this. I get all of these services, you know, at no additional charge. Um, I have up to 15 devices that I can, um, that I can uh, have protected. My TVs, anything that's smart, TVs, refrigerators, doorbells, anything that's smart, I can put uh, any, uh, I can put a VPN on it so that people can't track my information. Um, let's see here, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, just do this. So you can talk to an expert, um, leave feedback. We, of course, we have member perks where you can get all kinds of discounts for that. But um, in terms of support, you know, you can call them 24 seven if you're in an emergency situation. My niece lost, or somebody stole my niece's wallet. They went in and helped her greatly. Um, let's see here. Let me look up here, I'm sorry. Um, so you get, you know, oh, this is one 24 seven emergency access. I forgot to tell you about that on the legal plan too. Um, 24 seven emergency access that if anything comes up in your life, 
you know, sometimes people might be in a car accident. You're standing on the side of the road trying to talk to an officer. You're already in shock. The last thing you need to do is be seeing anything because you could potentially incriminate yourself. Uh, you can tap an app and have an attorney on the phone with you uh, in less than five minutes. Um, so you have that, but also you have that for um, ident ID uh, emergency access as well. Um, <clears throat> they give you any credit alerts and uh, hard, you know, sometimes people are, people are stealing people's identity every day by the really by the hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. So well, like I, I was, I was just saying, Estella, I have uh, three girlfriends that has their identity stolen just in the last 24 hours, three different girlfriends from three. Well, different they need areas. to have our service. They really <laughs> need to have our service. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're one of the best that's out there. And the thing that about us is you'll see is that with us, um, let me see, full service restoration. Nobody's do, doing that. A lot of times, you know, like, and I don't want to necessarily, I'm not trying to, I don't, we don't have to downgrade our competition because they're really, um, sorry, everybody's trying to call me. Yep. Your phone's ringing. So your, your voice went away. Okay. Be, there you um, are. You're back. But uh, full service restoration, um, a licensed private investigator. These people are certified. They had to go to school to learn how to do this. They, we make a guarantee that we will restore you back, your identity back to where it was before it ever happened. And we promise that no matter how long it takes, we will do that. Okay. Um, anyway, I don't know what's going on. Is she calling me at my house? Um, I'm going to keep going, though. I'll call her back. Uh, and so you get full restoration, uh, it, 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 as it says here, as long as it takes to restore your identity, we will do that. Uh, there is um, identity fraud. We restore you up to $3 million if you had fraud. Uh, oh, my goodness. Let me see what's going on. I apologize. <laughs> my, this is my sister, and she never calls me like this. Uh yeah, it sounds it sounds like maybe she's got something going on. Yeah. Uh I'm gonna text her there. Anyway, uh just kind of wanted to, you know, like court monitoring, uh credit bureaus, dark web monitoring, payday loans, personal sex offender, I mean, you name it, we do it. And uh we do this for individuals for as little as fourteen ninety five per month or nineteen ninety five per month, and then for a family as little as twenty nine ninety five per month um to thirty four ninety five per month and so uh if you don't mind kathy i'm going to um i'm gonna switch back over to uh the other uh thing and then can you guys talk while I find out what's going on with my family? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like she's very urgently trying to get in touch with you. Yes, yes. Okay. I'll switch back over to the other one. Okay. All right. Okay. So you see how important her information is. Um, so thoughts, comments. Anyone? Now, hopefully I'm saying this correctly. Is it is it Ron? Ron, help me out. Did I say that correctly? Your first name? Ron. Okay, so uh, Ron said uh, in a chat, he said that, or he or she, I don't even know if it's a he, Ron, I'm assuming a he. Um, this is, unless it's short for Ronnie. Um, this is my first time attending, checking my understanding of this group. Event hosts are promoting the use of a software tool uh, for either low code or no code development. And then these reoccurring uh, meetings act as an incubator for startups and support for learning the tools promoted. Um, correct to an extent. Um, it's all about building a better business. And it just depends on what your business is, what your passion is, and what it is you want to bring to your audience. And we simply will... Um, uh, express our favorite tools of the trade. They're not necessarily tools that we have created. 
Uh, it's just tools that we're using in our business. And then we give you the opportunity to put together uh, some sort of an offer whether it be uh, your free first base offer, a second base offer, third base, which would be your bread and butter or your home run offer, which is your biggest ticket. And you get to practice your offer on us. And so everyone in the group has had a turn uh, either doing a mastermind series or a masterclass or uh, showing us a course that they're creating or uh, a membership site they've put together. So it's whatever offer that you want to practice on the group with before you launch it out to your audience at large. So hopefully that's helped answer uh, Ron's question. Um, any other comments um, from anyone? Kathy, I did have a question. Um, when Estella was giving the last presentation, those were two separate services, right? That have different fees. Is that correct? Um, Linda, you might be able to answer that. Are they different fees or are they the same or is it included in the membership? Uh, two different services. Uh, one is the legal piece and one is the identity protection piece um, and different fees, but okay. extremely affordable once again. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. And and the, the ability to have someone rebuild your credit is just off the charts because there are big name brand um, companies that you heard commercials on TV. And basically if you get hacked, they turn you over to basically a glorified customer service rep and they tell you the steps that you need to take to get mm -hmm. yourself fixed. So this is a whole different level um, for ridiculously reasonable um, rates. It's like someone saying your house is on fire, your house is on fire. And you're like, oh my God, um, did you put the fire out? And yeah, we did. Meaning they stopped them from continuing to use your credit or whatever. And then they say, and you're like, oh, okay. Um, well, now you're going to put, you know, put my house back together. We're going to send you directions on how, what you need to do to do that. So uh, with us, you're going to sign a limited power of attorney authorizing the um, licensed private investigators to check into your HIPAA, to whatever it is that you need. They will do that. And they have access to over 100,000 databases throughout the world. Identity theft is no longer somebody going to your mailbox. It's, it's international now. Yes. So absolutely. anyway, uh, I I cherish your your give us give us the cost. How can make yeah. this better? <laughs> well, give us give us your cost if we wanted to do both the the legal piece and the identity theft. What what would the cost of those two together be? Well, if you get the three bureau identity theft, it would be um, with the um, which is thirty four ninety five, or you could get the one bureau. Really, you know, most people get the three, but anyway, it's that would be sixty four ninety five, um, or uh, fifty nine ninety five, whichever one you want. And then for a single person, that's twenty nine ninety five plus fourteen ninety five, which I believe is uh, what is that forty? Oh, I don't know. I'm my math is off here. Somebody help me. <laughs> Fourteen plus twenty nine. I'm sorry. It's thirty plus fifteen, so forty four ninety. Or okay. if you get the three bureau, it's, um, you know, an extra five dollars. Um, but the, again, like I said, the, the key thing with this is, and I had the, I do have a gift for everyone since this is national make a will month. What I have is a very comprehensive will planning guide. It's like a 19 page guide that I will, um, Kathy, if I, I don't have everybody's email mm -hmm. address, but you do. Um, actually, I, said, I yeah, actually, I don't because they tap into a free Zoom call, so I don't necessarily have their email. But um, if they put it in the chat, I'll just send them a copy of okay. this very extensive um, uh, will planning guide since this is National Make a Will Month. Very good. Uh, Shanti mm -hmm. has included hers. <clears throat> so um, all of us that are in the host and panelists can see that. And so, Estella, can you capture it from there? Yes, I'll just copy the chat. Okay, very good. Anyone else want to include their information in uh, in the chat for Estella if you want to copy? Shanti, thank you for that. 
Yes, it's it's very affordable. It's very doable. I know, uh, Linda, you have Legal Shield already. I have Legal Shield already. Um, is anybody else in the group already have Legal Shield? Tish or Christy or Ron, anybody already have it? I know Shanti is asking for a copy of that. So, and Shanti was asking about prices. So, Shanti, I'm assuming you don't have it. Okay. And if you have, uh, one of the things I would say is if you have customers and they're in business, I didn't share with you what we do for business owners, but um, let me put my information in, in there. Um, Christy says, oh, okay, uh, I'm gonna put my information in there. What we do for business owners is just as incredible as what you heard about what we do for individuals. It's probably even more so what we do for businesses and the and the rate for that. So I'm going to put my information into the chat. And then if you want to just reach out to me, um, that would and be good. And Shanti and Christy put theirs in the chat for you, Estella. Okay. Okay. I'll just put my phone number in. How about that? Make sure you click it to everyone. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. okay, great. Thank you, because I didn't have it on everyone. Yeah, because great. Christy and, and Ron are in the audience. The rest of us are are actually uh, okay. as a panelist. Yes, and and I second what Linda is saying. Uh, Estella, thank you so much for sharing this. This is great information and a great presentation. Uh, again, she had a couple of glitches. One thing that you noticed, and we're going to talk about her the presentation style at this point instead of the actual product. And uh, and the, the biggest thing when she was trying to share her phone is that every time she would get a phone call, it would knock her volume out. Um, and of course, we could see uh, on since she's sharing her screen, we could see who was calling her, which um, she might not want to share that <laughs> if she were doing a presentation in front of a larger uh, you know group at large. And so um, uh, at some point. Uh, Estella, I don't know if if there is a way that you can get to um, all of what you wanted to show us on the app, if you could get to it um, somehow on uh, a laptop. Uh, um, my well, guess is she yeah. mm -hmm. probably has either a webinar or something to show how the, the app works and mm -hmm. what you could do on an actual Zoom call if you share your screen you can actually pull up the actual Legal Shield uh, video showing how the app works and play that for your audience. Probably what I'll need to do is do my own video of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, yeah, because I, I need to show that to my members as well, because a lot of them had the service and they don't even know. And they just like in the last week updated that whole app. It's like phenomenal. I love okay. it. Okay. Mm hmm Ron put his um, information in. Did he? As okay, I need yeah. to make sure that I, I get so make that. Make sure you, you pick that up. Mm -hmm. I will send him information as well. And again, like I said. Um, uh, Tish says you could do either a video or even do screenshots on a, on a like a, a slideshow. That's good too. Yeah. That's good too. Mm -hmm. And then you can just share your, your screen on your laptop and not have your personal phone out there with phone calls coming in. And, uh, mm -hmm. and again, we, un we understood what you were doing and it was great. I love to see that it is an app on the phone because how many of us kind of just function from our phones. Um, even now when I travel, oftentimes I don't even take my laptop or even my tablet these days. I just take my phone because it has everything right there and it's compact enough that I don't feel like I have to pack all of this extra stuff because, um, mm -hmm. okay, you, you guys that know me, you're going to, you're going to say what? Mark and I can travel indefinitely with uh, each of us with a personal item backpack. Not yeah, a suitcase, not a I don't even know how you do it, girl. <laughs> just, just, just a backpack that fits into the little personal item. It goes under the seat in front of us and on the airplane. We don't even put anything overhead, and we can travel indefinitely with each of us having our little backpack. That's unreal. That's unreal. And I want to say, you know, um, Linda is my partner now because I have teamed up with her because what she does is so very valuable in terms of helping people be able to pull together 
their last love letter. <laughs> um, and when I saw what she did, I was, I was, you know, my held my breath. I was like, oh my God, I, she needs to be able to let people know, you know, cause she goes way beyond what, you know, just getting the will, she goes way beyond that, but still, um, she can defray the cost and give people access to the legal part of it. She goes into the other parts that need to be taken mm -hmm. care of. <laughs> so I'm like, Linda, you need to be able to offer this to your customers. So we we saw a connection and I, you know, I'm looking forward to helping her as well as I'm saying in terms of getting her message out uh, in addition to what I'm doing. And for those of you that are on this call, if you go to kathybinner.com, you can click through on the Build a Better Business and there is a link there to listen to all of our previous uh, replays of, of these Monday calls. And you'll see where Linda shared her products and services. And you're welcome to go there and uh, scroll through um, the, the videos and it, it'll be marked kind of an orange thumbprint for the Build a Better Business. And uh, you can scroll and find Linda's. Uh, it, it was just not too long ago. Um, what, three months maybe? Um, anyway, we do it once a, once a month, so you're, you don't have to scroll too far, and you can actually find her replay if you want to listen to her uh, content. Yes, Linda. My sound wouldn't turn off. Turn on. Okay, there we go. Um, I just wanted to clarify in just this super briefly for those who are new and don't even know because... I mentioned a funnel builder and now we're talking about something completely different. What Estella is referring to is something that I do called the legacy of love project. And I help people create their perfect end of life plan so they can be a blessing to their loved ones instead of a burden. And so it is much more than just getting a will or there's so many parts involved and uh, it's, it's a wonderful way to bless families by removing stress and angst and resentment. Um, and so that's what she was talking about. I can drop that link in the chat as well. And that's that's all I'll say, thank you. Perfect, Linda, thank you for sharing that. Yes. Okay, so um, I love that everybody has been with us today. I hope that we have all inspired each of each other to take our next best step and to create some sort of a product and service and, and even if you just have one, you can get started. And once you have the one thing that you want to deliver to your audience for, uh, whether it be for free or for a fee, um, once you have one product ready, ready to deliver, then you are ready to brush off your story and put yourself out there and start serving some other groups that have the same audience that you're looking for and start just start down that path. Um, again, you you don't know what you don't know. And so I want to say that action comes first, clarity comes second. Action comes first and clarity comes second. So get your product, get at least one, even if it's a little messy, it's okay. And put it out there and let us know if you want to try it out on us, we would be happy for you to do that. Any comments or questions before we go? And Estella, thank you so much. That was so valuable. I cannot wait to see you out and about around Columbus giving this presentation. Thank you. I need to get hooked up with you. <laughs> now, but anyway, little side note to Estella, go mm -hmm. online, find podcast and get make sure that you get your little media kit all ready to go. Um, mm -hmm. with your picture, your bio, and 10 questions that folks could ask you and start getting some interviews on some podcasts. Okay, I will you, do that. You'll This will flow after you do two or three. Am I right, Linda? After she does a few of these, it'll just flow. The first one's always a little bumpy and that's okay. But once you do several of these uh, and, and you get really comfortable with your material and, and it's the it's the technical end that you have to work the bugs out because you know your material, it's the technical piece. Um, and I'm still there too with the technical piece. You know, I struggle with that as well. So uh, once once you get the bugs worked out, it'll start to flow and uh, and and you'll you'll be amazed at uh, how many invitations you get to be on podcast. Uh, Shanti has her hand up. Yes, question. 
Yeah. So when you say get your media kit together, do you have a suggestion of what to type in on Google so that we have an understanding of what that looks like? Um, you can go to my website, uh, kathybenner.com, and take a look at my uh, speaker page. And it, it's basically my media kit. It'll have my topics that I talk about. It'll have how folks can connect with me, my picture, and 10 questions they can ask me uh, on an interview. Um, you can do all of that on a PDF. You can also do what's called a one sheet over in Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, you can do a one sheet. And when you go to mine on kathybenner.com, you'll see my one sheet, which anyone can just print off. That way they have it in front of them when I'm on with them. And then the 10 questions uh, is there as well in a PDF that they can print off. So um, you can use that as an example, but basically, um, and it depends on, on who I'm talking to. If I, I talk to authors over the weekend and I taught them how to do a media kit. And so it, it they're all basically the same. It's a, a digital picture that folks can use of you to advertise that you're gonna be on or you're going to either be on stage in person or on a Zoom call or, or on a podcast or whatever. So it's a picture of you, a, a one paragraph bio, which sums up what your message is to the world, and then 10 questions that they could ask you, or 10 topics, 10 questions that you're going to cover in your presentation. And for my authors, I told them to write it out to say, here are 10 questions to make it sound like you've read my book. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Because these podcasters, they don't have time to read all those books. And if they're mm -hmm. interviewing authors, uh, they love it if you give them 10 questions to make it sound like they've read your book. So anyway, the authors were excited about it and they were all putting together their media kits. So that in, in a nutshell is what it is. And uh, and then you can see it it, it can be presented in, in numerous different ways. But my you can see my version on my website. Linda, do you have a media kit on your website? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I encourage need to do. Yes, I encourage you to do that. And Estella, do you have a media kit that if folks want to uh, ask you to present, do you have a media kit that you can send out to them, email to them? No, but I'm go I'm going to have one because, you know, I'm, I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking I, I need to do it both for small businesses as well as for um, safety meetings yep. because when employees have issues, uh, you know, personal issues than they have work issues. All right. I have to ask one more person. Tish is, 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 is my, my, oh. she's the, she's the teacher's pet. So Tish, uh, do, you, do you have a media kit? <laughs> I do have a media kit. I knew she would. <laughs> we already talked about that. I got my interview questions lined up for all different types of interviewers. Um, I'm sorry, interviewees, I should say. And then um, my media kit. And do you do you care to share that if if folks wanted to see it or would would you prefer not to have yours on display? I can share it, my media kit, um, as far as my services, and then I have my questions. I have a interview agreement, all that stuff. Okay, and where can they find that? Do you have a link? I will have to link it to my um, what is it called? Link tree. Okay. Do you have it on your link? Can tree you put it? your link tree, yeah, out there for us? Okay, I'll do that. Thank yeah, you. if you could type that in the in the chat under everyone, uh, and then uh, again, feel free to just click through and see what Tish is all about. And again, yes, I would like to know. Mm -hmm. Not only are we helping each other elevate how we're building a better business, but we're also elevating what our own products and services are. Because, like, I I I have Legal Shield because I believe in the product. So not only does Estella get to promote uh, how she does her business, but she actually gets to promote her product as well. And each of you get to do the same thing. So, uh, And so not I, only that, because I'm out among business owners, they're looking for different services. And right. I, I do Legal Shield. That's what I do. But I want to be able to refer quality people to, you know, when, when I run and they say, well, Ken, do you know anyone? Yeah, I got, you know, so-and-so. So that's why we like these free meetups to function like a little mastermind so that we can kind of just put our heart out there on the table uh, because we're, we're building relationships with each other as we're building a better business, as we're promoting our own products and services. So it's a win, win, win all the way around. So I'll wait just a moment. Uh, uh, Tish, I don't know if you got a chance to put your... 
link tree in. link mm -hmm. tree out there yet. If not, I'll make sure that I I, I get some of this information with the replay because I could hear some background with Tish, so she might be multitasking here at the moment. Yes, Linda. Um, one little thing that I've done, even though I don't have my uh, one sheet and all of that on a page, on my calendar, I actually created several ways uh, that people could um, set up an appointment with me. And one is to engage me to speak. So it at least puts the idea out there that I am available to speak. It's, it's the baby step before doing the other things that I need to do. And, and I get that. And again, as you go, you'll get more clarity. Okay. Tish has posted that. Uh, it's under link tree under career coach. Tish. I have to add it. Y'all give me a second to add it, but that's no, no, my no, 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 no. <laughs> just hang on to the link if if her media kit's not there yet just give it a, 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 a some hours because she hasn't actually added her media kit to her link tree but that's the link tree where it is going to be so um so make a note of career coach tish okay and then you'll be able here maybe later today or tomorrow you'll be able to see her actual media kit um so anyway it we're all a work in progress uh that's what we, we endorse with each other. And uh, so any any last comments or aha moments before we go? Linda, did you have any aha moments? Just It was just so valuable to listen. And uh, Estella, good on you for getting out there, getting your first run under your belt. And um, then it just gets smoother from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, also maybe just consider putting your phone on Do Not Disturb. If you need to do a demo, maybe that would prevent some of those little pop-ups that happened. Yeah, that's a that's a good a good option. Yes, Shanti, any aha moments from you? What was your biggest aha moment for the? Uh, event I really today? like the fact when you mentioned to do uh, repurposing. I've heard you say it time and time before, you know, but I haven't been here in a while, and to hear you say it again, I'm like, okay, that's something that's still very beneficial. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Because now I can take this particular recording and I can turn it into my podcast, my blog post, my, I can, you know, my module for my course, I can turn this into so many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tish, did you have a, uh, an aha today? And she might be multitasking there. Tish, can you hear us? Yeah, my computer's yeah. a little slow. Um, so, aha moment. Mm, I think the uh, affiliate link was an aha okay. moment. So, that's what I did immediately. I got my affiliate link. So, you all can click on that and that will help me out a lot with Mid Journey. Thank you. Very good. Very good. I love that. Ron, any aha moment from you? Are you able to hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, no, I, I like what you're doing. Um, I know as an entrepreneur myself, just getting out there, getting your reps in the practice, like that's, that's the hardest part of the journey is <laughs> that first step. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I like what you're doing. I look forward to being involved in, uh, future meetings and taking advantage of the opportunity to get more reps in myself. Very good. Uh, let us know if, uh, you're ever interested in presenting, uh, we'd be happy to to include you in the roster. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. And Estella, I know you were uh, the presenter today, but any aha moments from you, from your presentation or from uh, any of the conversation? And you're, you're muted. Can you hear us, Estella? Now, she was getting that phone call, so she may be taking that phone call that her, I think it was her sister or sister-in-law was desperately trying to get a hold of her. So there could be some stuff going on there. Oh, there she is. Oh, I'm here. I'm back. I apologize. Uh, I had another phone call come in, so <laughs> I, I'm the popular lady today, so. <laughs> I get it. Any any aha uh -huh from you before we go? Um, Just that uh, really it was more about you're talking about making sure that I get this um, media kit done. <laughs> that was it. Okay. And okay. Um, 
and it looks like somebody must, I'm glad I got back here because I want that, I want to copy that chat so I could look at others. I know I need to just do that. You, you're just always such an awesome inspiration uh, in terms of, uh, that. I, you know what, I've been a part of this with Kathy for years. I don't, you know, it's probably been, I don't know. Well, it was right before you left the nail industry. Yep. And I would just say, mm -hmm. she, Kathy is just so incredibly valuable. I mean, she's just wonderful. She, well, this lady you. comes up with ideas that I'm like, really? How'd you come up with that? <laughs> she's just extremely uh, gifted. Well, and thank Jared. you for that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hop off here because I have a two o'clock meeting, but thank you so much for the opportunity. I will get that gift out to everybody um, that I have an email for. And, did you, uh, did you get the chat captured already? I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, thank everybody for being on and we will see you next time. Mark us down. We're the first Monday of every month at 12 noon. I'm on every Monday at 12 noon, but it's a different topic. It's the first Monday is the build a better business. So we have a writer's topic. We have a health topic. We have a real estate topic. So we're on it for, with different topics. Uh, but the first Monday is the build a better business. So we'll see everyone next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.